powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Manobuera, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's Word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. And faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Obueda. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. Today we'll be sharing on something very important. When you don't know where to look. The Lord gave me this series of message to help people around the world. To help them be able to stand on his word. When you don't know where to look. When friends becomes enemy, when lovers become enemy, when those who used to believe in your dream don't believe in it anymore, when those who encourage you now are the ones fighting you, when those you extended the hand of mercy to are the ones setting you up for your downfall. When you don't know where to look, there is a God you can trust. There is a God in heaven that we can look up to and his word will come true in our life. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, he said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Looking unto Jesus. He said, there is an inspiration we experience when we look unto Jesus, irrespective of what we're going through or what the circumstances may be. Looking unto Jesus. The Bible said, and Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God when the situation was in opposition, when it looked like nothing was going to happen in his life. And Abraham believed God. It was counted for him for righteousness. When you don't know where to look, looking unto Jesus is the best place to look. You know, trusting the Lord will keep your faith going. And trusting the Lord is the key to securing your future. You can't truly secure your future or your destiny except you trust the Lord. You can't truly secure your future or destiny except you trust the Lord. But why, why did I say we have to trust Him? Because it is in trusting God that you break the limitation. It is in trusting him that you, you rise above the circumstances, you rise above the storm, you rise above the opposition that wants to stand against you. When you don't know where to look, listen to the Spirit of God because he has an answer for you concerning this situation. One of the reasons why I like praying in tongues or praying in the Spirit is that it helps me to stay focused on things that produce great results. When you pray in the Spirit, when you pray in the Holy Ghost, it, it helps you to produce supernatural results. It's when you don't know where to look, that is when you begin to intensify in prayers. When all the people who ought to help you have abandoned you, when all those that are supposed to encourage you and no more encouraging you, then you have to look up to the one who does not quit on us. You have to look up to the one who doesn't change. In Hebrews 13 verse 8, 
in Hebrews 13 verse 8, he said, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So you look up to Jesus concerning your healing. Maybe the doctor said they have nothing to do about it. Maybe the lawyer said that this case is a bad case. Maybe those who you have ever trusted and believed on are telling you they can help you at this time. In Hebrews 13 verse 8, it said, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And when we trust him, it will lead to victory. Nothing leads to victory like trusting God. Nothing leads to victory. He said, and Abraham considered not the deadness of Sarah's womb. He never knew where to look. But he knew how to look up to God. Because there are problems that men have no solution for. Only God has solution for this problem. When you don't know where to look, look to the revelation of God's word. Look into the world. There is hope in the world. There is peace in the word of God. There is strength in God's word. There is wisdom in God's word. When you don't know where to look, look into the word of God. It carries the potential for your deliverance. God's word carries the potential for your healing, for your transformation. Look into the word of God. There are those that said, I don't know what to do about this situation. When you don't know what to do, God knows what to do. When you don't know what to do, God knows what to do. This is a time to look into the word of God. This is a time to study God's word. This is a time to believe God's word. Because miracles happen when faith is released towards God's word. Miracles happen when faith is released towards God's word. This is not a time to panic. But this is a time to stay in faith until there is a manifestation of the promise of the Father God towards you. Where to look when it looks like everyone is walking away from you. No one cares about your need. No one cares about you. It's not their job to care for you. It is God's job to care for you. God will take care of us. The, the psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. He never said, my friends are my shepherd. He never said, my cousin, my family members, my husband, my wife. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. You see, when you look up to God, you will not lose inspiration for continuity. When you look up to God, He helps you to rise above the limitation. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. Your situation have an, has a solution in the Word of God. Your situation has a solution in God's Word. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. It doesn't matter what is happening right now. Your situation has a solution in God's Word. Your situation. You can, when you don't know what to do, but when you don't know what to do, or you don't know where to look, learn how to speak God's word. You know, a lot of people allow the need to take the place of the word of God. Many years ago, the Lord gave me a word. Our church was in a property, and this property was given to us to use for free. And while we are using the property, the Lord spoke to me and said, I'm going to cause the owners of this property to sell this property to you in the future. I want you to believe me for it. And when that property for 11 years for free, before the owners approach us and said they want to sell the property, after 11 years, we were trusting God, we were believing God, the finances was not there. The finances was not there. We didn't have all the finances, but I had faith in God. You see, faith in God is a resources with a potential to change a situation. Faith in God is a resources. This is why Hebrews 11, verse 6 said, He that cometh to God must believe. And we started trusting God. We trusted God until we are done with paying for our church property. It was by faith. We didn't have the money. 
when the people ask us to pay for it. But we started trusting God. Can you trust God? Even when it looks like all the situations are not in your favor. Can you trust God? Even when it looks like there is no way out in this situation. When you don't know where to look. Don't lose your hope. Ensure you, 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 you sustain the hope. Don't lose your hope. Losing your hope may mean losing everything. I said losing your hope may mean that you're losing everything. Don't lose your hope because the enemy wants you to lose your hope. He said if a tree be cut down, he said there is a hope that it will sprout again. Securing your hope in the time of need is the key to breaking thoughts. I said securing your hope in the time of need is the key to breaking fault. Securing your hope in the time of need is the key to breaking fault. If you truly want to break fault, you got to secure your hope. In the time of need, don't lose your hope. Don't say, well, I don't know what I'm going to do about this situation. I don't know how I'm going to face this situation. I don't think I have what it takes. No, watch your confection. Watch what you're saying. Don't be negative now. Don't be negative now. Be positive. Stay in faith. Keep on moving. If you stay in the word of God, you will come out from this situation. This is a word for someone. If you choose to stay in God's word, nothing can be impossible for you. Trusting God is the pathway to peace and rest. I said trusting God is the pathway to peace and rest if I can trust his word. Psalm 107 verse 20. He said he sent for the word and the word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. The word brought healing and the word the word helped them to break free from limitation, from opposition, from contention. God's word works. The centurion man came to Jesus in Matthew chapter 8, from verse 5 to verse 12. You will notice how the centurion man received healing for his servant. When Jesus said he was going to come and heal him, which was a proof that the will of God is to heal people. But the centurion man said, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof. He says, speak the word only, and my servant will be healed. So the healing of the servant was connected to the word of God. The same way the healing is connected to God's word, is the same way your provision is connected to the application of God's word. Your deliverance is connected to the word. Your success and your victory is connected to the word of God. Can I say this to you? Looking unto, the, unto Jesus, looking to the word of God. The smile over the situation make me look like right now I can't smile, you can't smile I don't need to smile at all so the situation is hitting me here and there but if you choose to walk by faith you will rise above this obstacle you will rise above the circumstances when you choose to walk by faith look beyond what the report is look into the word of God don't give up don't quit the promises of God will come true. That was why I said to Habakkuk, write the vision. For the vision is for an appointed time. Although it tarry, but surely it will come to pass. The vision will come to pass. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. This vision will come to pass. This dream will come to pass. This thing you're believing God for will come to pass. You're watching this broadcast right now. God is saying, I am this your source. He said, he that watcheth over Israel will not sleep nor slumber. That's the word. He said, he will not suffer your foot to be moved. In Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and Jacob will possess his possession. So you got to believe God's word. That is where to look at, looking unto Jesus. In John Gospel 1 verse 1, he said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. It is the word of God you look up to. If you ever look up to God's word, you will never lose in this situation. God's word works. Sometimes it brings 60, 30 fold. Sometimes it brings 60 fold. It brings 100 fold until it overflow. There is a 60 fold healing, 60 fold, uh, 30, sorry, 30 fold healing, 60 fold healing, 100 fold healing. You can move from maybe 60 fold, 30 fold provision, 60 fold provision. 
and 100 foot provision so you can move from one point of victory to the other in Proverbs 4 verse 18 this is the part of the judge is a shining light you shine it more and more onto a perfect day so god wants you to get better in psalm 84 verse 7 you see they go from strength to strength everyone that appeared before god in zion that is where to look that is where to look look at the word of god trust the word in genesis 1 verse 2 he said the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god moved and in genesis 1 verse 3 and god said let there be light that is where to look if you will ever look into god's word you will run out of strength the word of god is your strength in times like this in seasons like this take the word stay with it keep declaring keep believing faith does not quit faith will wait until there is a manifestation of the promise faith doesn't quit so don't give up your faith in god won't fail it will produce great results maybe you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know jesus as your lord and savior the greatest things the greatest thing you can do with your life is to give it over to jesus and let him have his way now it's time to pray if you if you don't know jesus pray this prayer with me lord jesus i confess with my mouth i believe in my heart that god has raised jesus from the dead thank you father for saving me amen if you pray that prayer with me it means you're born again god is going to lead you and also we encourage you and everyone who is watching this broadcast today to subscribe to fitman teaching on youtube when you subscribe you're able to have a lot of teachings coming to you every day that will help you grow in your faith and flourish in your purpose and also you can subscribe to christ kingdom bible school on youtube that's a free bible school i do i help more people around the world to train them about ministry and equip them to do what god is calling them to do so you can subscribe to christ kingdom bible school on youtube and you will never remain the same also you can also send me a friend request on facebook is faith man of weather on facebook faith man of weather on facebook you can send me a friend's request and who can be able to minister to you in case you have a prayer point you want to share with me you can inbox me you can go to my official page apostle faith man of weather on facebook apostle faith man of weather on facebook and inbox me some information you know, what you want me to pray about or what you want me to know and we're here to stand with you we also encourage people to partner with this ministry through partnership we're able to reach more and more people every day around the world through partnership you can do it on paypal is faithman teaching at gmail.com it's always a joy to bring forth god's word to you and we encourage you to consistently keep hearing the word of god faith coming by hearing and hearing by god's word we love you until our next broadcast don't ever forget there is greatness in you